In this video, you will learn about cropping CT scans and defining the panoramic curve in Implant Studio. At the cropping step, you can crop away irrelevant parts of the CT scan. To review the full CT scan, you can use the sliders in the three views to scroll through the different slices of the CT scan. To crop the CT scan, use the blue control point to adjust the size of included scan volume. You can always return to the cropping step at a later stage, in case you want to resize the displayed CT volume. You can see the graphics, volume and cropping information in the windows below the CT views. The volume region will appear as green and read valid if there is enough graphic card memory for the crop scan. It will turn red and invalid if there is not enough graphics memory. Once you have selected the desired volume of the CT scan, click Next to move on to define the panoramic curve. A well-defined panoramic curve is important to accurately plan your implant treatments. Implant Studio will propose a panoramic curve based on the location of the plane in the 3D view. Use the control points to adjust the plane. In this case, the axial plane is positioned approximately where the roots convert into teeth. The proposed panoramic curve can be seen in the axial view. If you should wish to adjust it, simply drag the yellow control points. To adjust the depth of the panoramic curve, please use the slider in the lower right corner in the panoramic view window. You can also move the blue line to easily navigate and review the different cross sections of the scan. Press on the Next button to move to the next step. You have now learned about cropping CT scans and defining the panoramic curve in Implant Studio. In order to explore the full implant planning and surgical guide design workflow, please watch the next video in this series. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.